Hey house planters, welcome back to Millennial Planter. I'm Marina. Today I wanted to start a new fun series on my um, on my channel, and I mean everybody loves a good unboxing video and seeing people get their wish list plants, but I thought I would do my unboxings, but also highlight the Etsy accounts or shops that I get it from more. Um, just because I have been ordering from some really good sellers, especially on Etsy, and I feel like sometimes ordering online is just a real hit or miss. And now you will have these videos to look back on to get some good plants from reliable sources. Today I have one plant coming that is out for delivery now that I thought I would never own in my life. I actually won it on a giveaway on Instagram and I'm still in shock about it. And I'm just really excited to get it and watch it grow and share it with my friends. So with that being said, I am going to wait and I will see you all in a few minutes. It's here. Okay, I had to change my shirt into my tacky monstera shirt to celebrate. <laughs> Um, I pre-opened the package. I, it's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is um, from Shannon and she has Dancing Deer Botanicals. I will leave her information down below. She specializes in succulents, hoyas, and philodendron. And she has some beautiful plants, especially succulents. Um, I'm probably gonna order some from her for my cactus garden that I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, so definitely check her out. She has really beautiful plants. So she was hosting this giveaway and I entered, I think the day before it ended. So I really didn't think I was gonna win. Um, <laughs> then I was at work and it was probably around 12 and I saw the Instagram post of her tagging me and telling me that I won. And I probably looked crazy to all my coworkers cause I was on the verge of tears. <laughs> we got loads of bubble wrap. Loads of uh, pillowcase stuffings, I like to call it, which is actually my favorite to pack plants with. I feel like it just really secures the plant. Here's the heat pack and it's still warm and I was kind of nervous because it got pretty cold last night, like around, I think maybe the low 30s, high 20s. Oh, and here it is. It looks so beautiful. Can you guys see it? Oh my God. Wow, she packaged it really well. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys this is so pretty I'm crying a little bit wow it's in a heap of sphagnum moss <laughs> it's an albo monstera and it's way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. She also has like another layer of something. Oh, wow. This is handy. Wow. This thing was packed to the nines. So awesome. Look at that. Wow. Look at that huge aerial root. That's amazing. Wow. This part might be a little rotted, um, but it's not to the stem. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am shocked. Like, I can't even believe this. Oh, it is so pretty. Like now I kind of see what the hype is all about because this thing is beautiful. Thank you so much, Shannon. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna go <laughs> and tend to this baby. Um, so I guess I will see you all back in a few days when my other uh, plant mail arrives. Hey house planter, so it's the next day. I have my next package and this one is from Kay's Garden. I have, this is my third package from her. Everything I get from her is always really like packaged well and on both accounts that I mentioned yesterday and today, they both run out of their house. so really personable and just really it's really awesome buying plants from people that grow grow the plants themselves in their home it just seems more personable you know so here's the package he always has 
this cute little logo on it with Kay's Garden. I love it. Look at that. Like, she's just so cute with her packaging and her branding. I love it. I'm really excited because one of these has been on my wish list for so long and I've talked about it in so many videos. So let me know if you guys can guess what it is. Look at that. Ooh, do you see it? The variegated string of hearts. Look at that. I got two of them. There's another one in here, but it's like four different strands, I think, in here. So she had it in wet paper, wrapped with plastic, wrapped in sphagnum moss. So these aren't dehydrated at all. You can usually tell if like the backs of the leaves are wrinkly and these aren't. They're nice and plump still. Oh, and look at that one little white leaf. Okay, so I lied. These two were actually the two that I got. So yeah, that was $20, which you could separate here. But still, I mean, that's still good for $20 because it's trailing and you never find them this big and full for like $20 unless you're in California and you have those awesome nurseries by you. I had one of these before. It was like a semi-rooted cutting and it died. But I feel like since this is like way more established, I think it's gonna be a lot better. And I have a regular string of hearts that does really well and I know the care is similar so I think these are gonna be great. So this one I seen going around the interwebs a lot lately and it is so beautiful. And she had shipping for $35, free shipping with $35 and over. So I was like, I might as well get something else, but. So there it is. It is the Peperomia Pink Lady. It is a little crinkled, but that's okay. It's winter time. It's been cold the past two days and these ripples recover really easily and grow really fast, so. It'll bounce back just fine and it was packaged beautifully. I'm kind of on a slight Peperomia Ripples kick because I currently have the frost and I saw this pink lady and I know I needed it. And then they also have like a deep burgundy one that's so pretty and I'm probably gonna be getting that one next. I'm gonna be propagating some of these leaves, especially the bent ones, so to get a nice full plant. And then she sent me <laughs> this wandering dude um, because I had mentioned that I ordered a whole bunch of pink plants from her. And so she just sent that as like a little gift. That was really sweet. Thank you, Kay. And these wandering dudes, they grow like crazy. It's insane. So I'm really excited for these babies. Oh, all of these babies. Um, so with my elbow, I ended up chopping it in half since it had two aerial roots already and it was just really awkward potting it up the way that it was growing. So I have one going in water and one going in soil. So it's really exciting. And that is it for this video. I hope you all check out those awesome Etsy accounts. I will leave the links down below. And if you have a reputable Etsy seller or online seller that you go to a lot, leave them in the comments so we could all just like check it out and order from sellers that we know are trustworthy and not shady. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. And maybe I'll end up ordering from one of the accounts you recommend and highlighting them in one of these unboxing videos. So yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.